It's been more than a year now since a fire destroyed this apartment building on Detroit's west side. When the firefighters left, the cleanup crew never arrived. The charred debris is still there, and people in the neighborhood want it gone. And that has 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl on a mission to find the owner. She joins us live from the Brightmoor community on Detroit's west side with more. Ronnie. Well, I'll tell you what, it took a little digging, but I was able to come up with a name. Alan Rossman, record show. He owns this mess. So today, I headed to the suburbs to try to find Alan and some answers. Alan Rostin must be doing pretty good in life. His house in Troy is estimated at over $400,000, has four bedrooms and a view of the water. No illegal dumping going on here. When nobody answered the door, we hit the road again, this time paying a visit to the Motor City Carpet and Flooring store in Warren. I'm Ronnie with Channel 7. The company's website states Alan and his wife started the business back in 1995, but an employee tells me Alan no longer owns the place. Never, he no longer owns the business. Oh, he doesn't own this no, one? No, not, not Motor City any longer. Okay. His son owns the business, but his... not him. But does he own this? Jason Manor Apartments burned to the ground March 5, 2014, following a report of sexual assault at one of the apartments. Arson is suspected, but never proven. When I spoke with Alan on the phone Tuesday, he said he only managed the place. But then I checked. Online records show he is listed as the resident agent for the limited liability company which owns the property, Jason Manor LLC. And right there is his signature. And under the title, he listed himself as the owner. So I called him again. Uh, yes, hi, I'm trying to reach Alan. This time his wife answered. She also claims the property doesn't belong to her husband. Must be some type of mix-up. A dirty, dangerous mix-up neighbors and nearby businesses are being forced to live with, and illegal dumpers are making it worse each passing day. It's an eyesore. We've been here 92 years, and look what we have to deal with. And so I was able to reach out to the mayor's office regarding this rubble. No one was able to do an online interview with me, or an on-camera interview with me, rather. And I am told, though, the mayor is cracking down on irresponsible property owners. In fact, now if they get stuck cleaning up messes like this one, they either sue the property owner or they put a lien on the property so they can try to get their money back. For now, we're live on the city's west side. Back to you. All right, thanks, Ronnie.